issue which uh, our first caller would like to discuss. Um, so, Oliver, I apologize. I said I was going to take you first, but uh, this is more on topic. So I'll come to you uh, second, Oliver. And just remind people, if you would like to join us, send a contact request to Magic Sandwich Ship on uh, Skype. Include the gist of the topical question that you would like to ask, and we'll see if we can get you on. Uh, I have to say that normally uh, in the second hour, which we're rapidly approaching now, um, and the second half of the second hour, everyone suddenly sends contact requests. Don't wait. Book early to avoid disappointment. Uh, Carl, are you with us? Uh, yeah, can you hear me? <clears throat> we can indeed. Welcome yes. to the show. Thank you. Uh, my, my throat is a bit bad. I'm sorry for that. <clears throat> and I'm a fellow Swede, I might add. Hmm? Uh, anyways, when we talked about evil, uh, you mentioned that uh, it happens because we have free will. or are allowed to do it by God due to free will. Is that something that you uh, would say is accurate? Yes. I'm a pedophile hunter. I put it in right away. I know everything about the darkest, devilish, <laughs> hellish behavior of man. Yes, I do. Okay. I really but, do. Okay, but where is the free will in getting killed by a tsunami? Where is the free will in dying by a volcano, an earthquake, a bullet to the head? The free will defense doesn't really hold up when you take into account all of the death, the evil that happens that we can affect, like uh, natural disasters. Exactly. But who said that free will is absolutely free will, no limitations? God himself is limited to not being able to lie, even he says, even he's, if he's almighty, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> because everything you specify would limit you from that. You know, you put up, you put, put up limits. Reality is such. Yeah, okay, okay, natural but... laws, we, we, they were put in there because we're not supposed to overrule them. You know what happens psychologically if the, if the floor isn't really uh, there when you start walking over the floor? Go to the hospitals and look how they behave. They sit and, and grab to their chairs and don't go <clears throat> to the toilet. Yeah. We, oh, you know. Okay, but, but I think this brings us back to what, what the ancient Greeks said. Uh, if God can stop this evil but doesn't, wouldn't that make him quite the evil God? Well, are you free if he stops everything you think and want to do? Well, he could stop the natural disasters well, from you, killing people. You, you, you abandon free chance. will then, and, and that's a concept that, you, you know, you can't have it both ways. Well, I don't understand why God stopping um, natural disasters has an impact on free will. Well, how does it... Well, without tsunamis, that was free will also. Let, let's say we stop having tsunamis. We stop having volcanoes or tornadoes or hurricanes or cyclones. Uh, now I have a if problem you know, with... Concordance, you're very, very quiet. Your audio's gone very low. Yeah. Sorry. In a world without tsunamis and earthquakes and cyclones and, and all these other things, are you saying that free will couldn't exist without the presence of natural disaster? No, absolutely not. You're, you're swapping the thing, you know, putting well, it one sorry, thing Rob, one way is, tonight, does not I imply assume the that opposite. that's what you were no. saying. That's not logic. No, no, no. I was not saying that. So we're, we're asking the problem of evil is often responded to by saying that, you know, God doesn't interfere in our, our actions, you know, our own bad decisions. But then at the same time, we're talking about the, the death of millions uh, you know, suffering and pain that God is is capable yeah. of, according to yeah. you, uh, okay, of but, preventing that. That's nothing to do with people's free will. Uh, whether or not an earthquake hits or not, it would seem is somewhat a capricious action with no no reasoning behind it. There's, free will is not brought into natural disasters. I think that's what the caller is saying. Again, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I can't see why the free will is is uh, affected by natural disasters. No, we're we, asking you, know, you to answer the problem no, no. of evil. Why why the problem of evil uh, when it comes to natural disasters rather than people, say, making bad decisions that they then <coughs> suffer from? Set that aside. Why do earthquakes happen uh, with Could a beneficent I God? Could I yeah. just clarify okay, a According bit? to the Bible, if I answer according to the Bible, from the starting point which I have now, you know, um, that's the foundation in, in my worldview. It says that death and suffering came through sin. It also put the natural world in, into yeah, but, a state of, but, of decay and, you know, things like that. Hmm? But if, Carl, okay, so, uh, back to Carl. 
I, I just want to clarify a little bit, then you can uh, remove me. Um, if free will is a valid defense for evil, and if you can say that God has to allow evil because he allows free will, then why are these natural disasters that are also so evil a necessity? These, you cannot apply the free will defense to them. So why does he allow them? Why can he not simply have a world without them where they do not cause evil? Uh, well, according to the Bible, the world was created without death and suffering, with a possible, uh, with a possibility to, to uh, live without it. But anyway, the fact is that we have natural laws, and uh, 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 I can see what the free will has to do with with uh, having also natural laws. It only limits the the you know the rules of the play will limit freedom always. I have a follow-up question then, because I, I'm, I'm not fully understanding what you're saying. Um, originally, everything was created perfectly. So, um, in the Garden of Eden, or in the Earth at the time, um, there was no tectonic plate movement. And it was only after Eve ate an, ate an apple that the plate started to move? No, no apple mentioned in the Bible. And uh, as I told you, you know the, the problem story that is I'm with referring God himself. To. You know, the, the problem of free will is, is uh, connected question, to God Rob. himself. No, please. You are because avoiding it. You know exactly it, no, what I'm asking. No, no, I'm getting the question right. When God says that he is truth and only truth, then he limited himself from lying. Otherwise, he's a liar. Was so the what, earth what, perfect before Eve ate fruit? No, it was a mess according to the Bible. So God created a mess? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> if we take it literally, it's very simple. He created the heavens and the earth, and the world, uh, the earth was uh, empty and void, or dark and void, you know. And without form, it says, okay? Next step is that he starts to form something, he didn't form everything, and then he gives to man to develop and till the ground. It wasn't all ready. The Garden of Eden, I think, was a good place. Yeah, decent. God made it nice. But then go out in the world and do what you, what you should do as the offspring of a creator. Be creative. So when develop. God said, when he stood back after each day of creation and said, all is good, he yeah. was actually being somewhat disingenuous or dis for inaccurate, here? was he not? What, what's, the, what's the reference for good here? Yes, his intention. What was his, his intention? It doesn't say. Are you seeking to redefine the word good to mean not all that good and including some bad no, as well? No. Good according to what? You need a reference. To God. Does it's it, God's words. Yes, God but said does it, it say what the reference is? What the that doesn't matter. That, Rolf? What reference? If I create this program and I claim it's good, every other person on the earth would ask, what do you mean by, by good? What it was the purpose? What was blah, 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 blah? Then they also can join in and see, is it really good? Ah, okay, so what God what says I mean. the earth was good, yeah. what he meant was, it's yeah. good, but it's got a few design faults in it, like tectonic plate no, movement. It's going no. to cause earthquakes, and there are going to be a few volcanoes no, here and there. No. That's what it he happened meant by later. Good. It happened later. When That's later? That's what I why? believe. This is my point. Why did it happen later? What caused because, it to happen? According to the Bible, it was because man didn't play according to the rules. <laughs> in what way? By Eve eating a fruit. <laughs> No, we well, eat what, fruit What other every... way did man fail? And therefore, I eat fruit every moves. day. I eat every uh, fruit every day. I don't. I don't uh, think I commit a sin. So that's making fun of something. What did they do? They were disobedient. They did not want to play the play. You join the football club and you want to play uh, baseball instead. They're going to kick you out. I've okay, got a copy of the Bible happened. here, Rolf. Tell me which chapter and verse explains your theory. No, you assumed that he meant something that he did not do. Well, you give the reference. You can't judge him uh, other than according to a reference, okay? Are you a lawyer? Well, you have the law. According to the law, you draw your conclusion if someone is 
playing by the rules or not. Carl. That's a, that's a very simple, uh, simple. Uh, yeah. Yep. Did you want to the, add The tectonic else? question was never answered. No. It's, it's a shame because it's interesting. And I would add to it, you say there was no death. Uh, that means that cells must have done different things. And you say no death also implies that all the meat-eating animals somehow managed to sustain themselves uh, without killing other animals. I, I don't know, maybe you had lions eating carrots? How, you asked I mean, quite a few know, all, questions. All the there. obvious contradictions here uh, about the Garden of Eden and, and the no, sheer we, ridiculousness yeah. of it on its face. No, no, no. It did not say that the Garden of Eden was full of sin. You know, we have a changed world after the fall, okay? So that's the story. You, you can't, right. uh, okay. you know, the now state of it. the we've earth today does not apply to the state of the newborn creation, no. Rolf, what, what caused the fall? Disobedience, he said. No, what particular act? Disobedience, yes. Any particular she knew act and she, disobedience? It was not following his, uh, you know, it is not Who a... Who didn't follow? Uh, Give me Adam specifics. and Eve. Look, Adam and it right. So it was Adam eating the fruit Eve. that caused the fall, yes? The disobedience. It could have been anything that was forbidden. Everything, you know, you can eat okay, of I every follow. other tree. My ignorance. Right. So everything before the fall was good. Well, according to some standard which we do not know what it, what it was, but we assume oh, there's no, everything there's no that was, conversation. you know, not death what and disease. Is, then it's just pointless. Carl, okay, thank you very much. It is a point to, to point out that what was not good was death and disease. Okay, so good meant no death and no disease. Okay, so there, uh, that's uh, at least a, a hint, but we don't have the details because it doesn't say, okay? All right, I, uh, before I bring in the next caller, I, there's another point that I wanted to raise to see if we can get anywhere uh, uh, with this. Um, obviously, there are other uh, relig religions in the world. Um, I, I, I do want to um, come back to the point that Concordance made very much earlier on in the show, uh, which is basically your, your starting point, both to him and uh, myself, appears to be the Bible is true and then we'll go out and find evidence to support it. What, what do you say to those, um, for example, who believe in the Quran, who do exactly what you do and say the contents of the Quran are true and accurate, and they go out and find evidence to support their beliefs as well? Talking to an independent like myself, and I suspect quite a few of the audience, um, convince me, why should I believe that you've got it right in believing in the biblical God and a Muslim has not got it right by believing in Allah. And he to include in that a description of the fact that, you know, the Quran contains a lot of miracles, a lot of really impressive miracles that are maybe not entirely consistent with the New Testament. Uh, you know, things like being carried up to heaven on a horse and, you know, very similar things. If the rationalizer were here, he could, he could fill us in on a lot of the great stuff in the Quran. And I would also like you to include uh, some of the other world religions, uh, like the Bhagavad Gita and the amazing miracles that occur there as well. Why, why do you evaluate the evidence in favor of your own book, but against all the others? Do you think all claims are true? All religious, magical, miracle claims are true? Well, first of all, <clears throat> the biggest miracle is that we sit here, okay? Absolutely nothing. From absolutely nothing, by means of absolutely nothing, caused by absolutely nothing, we sit here and make fun of each other's beliefs, okay? I think it's really, really a uh, 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 lack of a foundation for thinking, for morals, for re uh, a view of reality to have that starting point. Now, okay. The material world and the immaterial world, we know of both. They are both real. The problem is, how can well, we define verify? the immaterial world? Math, tell numbers, me how you know do that they exist? Is. Do they have ontology without material representation? Well, that's what a philosophical the problem. What? 
What are, you said that both the material and the immaterial world exists. Yes. What is the immaterial world? Does do numbers you know exist? That it exists that's the, if that's it is the immaterial. Problem. Look, does numbers exist? Now we are on the immaterial world side. I want to know: is it real? Okay, you know that's that's a philosophical trap. There exist things that have no material representation, or well, not in itself. It exists anyway. Okay. Can you so, think of one that is not man-made? Just as a started. Uh, can you think of one that is not man-made? Numbers are man-made. They accept they may be immaterial in your definition. Can you give me one example of an immaterial thing that is not man-made? Well, that was my question. Logic and numbers. Do they exist? Whether there's let, let a oh, man-made construct to describe let, this. Let me ask a to question, DPR, but that may they, get to the heart of I was on to existence, and I'm about to answer your question, but I don't think I remember it anymore. <laughs> well, let, let me ask a simple question. 